long distance relationship six stages of long distance relationship hi guys my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life this is part two of long distance relationship video in first video I shared seven advice how to make it work the link will be below this video I'll make sure to check it out after this one so today I will talk about stages let's start the first stage of long distance relationship is we can do it stage. Usually it lasts um, about four weeks. It can be a bit longer, a bit shorter in every couple, but uh, you know, so time frame is uh, in general. Don't be so worried about uh, how many weeks, but the first stage is the feeling that we can do it. When both partners, couple decided that they can handle all the difficulties and they can be okay with the long distance so uh, they call each other every day send text messages pictures emails maybe have video chat and they feel good they feel strong about their couple and about the relationship and about their decision the second stage is first doubts uh, usually at this stage people not um, feeling as strong as they did before so at this stage your partner might not answer your phone might not reply to your message or maybe you called him or her and um, he said that he's busy at this moment and he will call you back and maybe you have a, like a short conversation on the phone and it's not it was not as it was before and at this moment you um, you start worry and your friends might actually suggest you some suspicious ideas and they might say you know you should have fun you should go out you should consider other options but you personally you still believe in your relationship and you're trying to find explanations you trying to um, look on the bright side of your relationship stage three is stage of loneliness and emptiness uh, you feel sad, you feel angry, you feel disappointed, you feel lonely. You might be angry about the situation, about your partner, about yourself. Uh, so you feel nervous, you feel, mm, you feel terrible actually at this stage. And you cannot go and talk to your friends because uh, on the previous stage they already told you that you should consider other options and maybe it was not the best decision. So at this stage you feel that your connection uh, with your partner is not as strong as it was before. And this is a really hard stage to experience and this stage can last for maybe week two, three or four weeks. This is the first breaking point in your relationship and you still can save your relationship at this point or it might be a starting point for the breakup. Stage number four is reconnection stage. Uh, the decision will come out of nowhere. After the sad and loneliness and empty stage, you will decide that this is time. This is time when you want to go and see your partner, when you want to get back to this connection between you you can you will leave everything you're doing your job your friends you will just pack your bags and go you go and see your partner and you're gonna spend one two days maybe a weekend together and a lot of couples will feel strong about their relationship at this point you kind of get back to that feeling we can do it and emotions are gonna be so high you're gonna you will be able to touch to hug your person you're gonna have intimacy so at this stage you are reconnecting back together and you feel great again about your relationship and about your decision stage number five is lack of trust uh, this is a similar stage to the second one when you had first doubts but this time doubts uh, are not coming from your friends they actually inside you and they are growing at this moment you will feel lonely empty angry again and at this moment you start considering is he the one uh, what's happening I'm wasting my time uh, how can I know that he or she is not seeing someone else and at this stage you will start noticing that people uh, of opposite sex are flirting with you and 
at this stage your relationship is uh, uh, very shaky. And stage number six is cheating and breakup or commitment. A lot of couples will fail on stage number six. Uh, and if you decided to keep your relationship, this re decision should come from both partners. And in this case, both partners decided that they would like, that they will commit. They will commit no matter what. And they will plan their visits ahead of time. They will highlight all them holidays in their calendar. They will decide where, when, and how they're going to see each other. And eventually they will plan uh, how they're going to move together, change city, state, country, if necessary. And this is a final stage. And this final stage can be the end of the relationship or the beginning of strong commitment and important decisions making in their life. If you believe in your couple, if you would like to save your relationship, uh, check the other video. The link will be below this one in the description. Seven advice how to make long distance relationship work. Send this video to your partner, share it with your friends, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so you're not going to miss the next video that I release every week. And thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.